What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. You know what it is. You know where you're at. And I'm Dave. And uh, so here we are. We finished off like the wing portion of the plane last night. And uh, it came out pretty good. I haven't added the camo to it, like the stripes for the camo yet. But I did get the base colors put down. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and show you guys that now. So here it is. So I have this taped off because I actually have to paint that red to there and red to there as well. But as you can see, I'll flip it over and show you guys in a second what the backside looks like. So pretty much all of this is getting covered by the fuselage except for a small little strip here. So you'll see a little bit of the red from the top, but for the most part, um, I was gonna do one wing black and one wing gray, but the ex soldier in me said, be uniform, uniform, uniformity. So that's what we did. We went uniformity. Um, I left these, their natural color. Well, actually, they were blue, actually, but I painted them gray. And they are actually gray on the bottom side, too. So I left them actually gray. So, um, yeah, so all I have left to do on this is just this little bit right here. I'll show you the bottom part of it here in a second. But first, I wanted to show you. So these are the, I guess you could call these the... Uh, the outside fuel tanks on the wing tips because uh that's pretty much i mean so the f-84 and uh a couple other jets back in the day some of the new, uh, first generation jets there second generation jets there they um they had these big things on the wing tips and i'm sure that they were fuel cells uh they were on the f-84 on the f-84 and the f-84g these were actually fuel cells that sat out there um, so I'm going to take a wild stab and say that these are also fuel cells. Um, but, uh, they've also have a light in the tip of them as well. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, I went ahead and I painted these red as well. So, um, hold on a second. So what you got is, uh, I'm not sure which way or which side these go on. Um, I guess that goes like that. Is that right? Is that right? Hold on. Let me just get this out of the way for a second. So that's not on there all the way, but you guys get the idea. The ends are red. I covered up the lights so the lights didn't get paint on them. And then the other red tank will go over there. And then we're just going to be adding some big hash, like fucking splash marks. Like, um, like, a, um, like a winter camo, like you would put on your face. And the one that you're, I'm trying to replicate here is the one where you just paint your face blue and white or green and white, and then you take the black or either the white, depending on if you're, you know, in, you know, a desert area or a tropical area, or uh, if you're out in the snow, you would take your fingers and put them all in paint, and then you would go like this, okay? And uh, that is the type of camo that I actually used to use on my face when I was after duty. It's the one that I like to use the most. Um, it's not a very... It's not a very used one. It's one that I used, I found that worked best for me and the features of my face. So a little dark under the eyes here, a little, little over the eyebrow just to break up the face a little bit, and then boom, 
you got these long streaks coming down the face like this. So, but that's what it's going to look like. So you're going to have these like long pronounced streaks coming down the plane. And that's going to be the camouflage. That's going to be that boom, boom, these long gray and white stripes, light, light gray and uh, white stripes. And they're not going to crisscross. They're all going to go the same way. They're going to have a flow to it. And then on the fuselage, they're all going to flow from the tail all the way out to the nose. They're going to come down the side like this. So that's the tiger stripe thing that I was telling you guys about that I was trying to explain to you. But let's take this off of here so she don't fall. Lord knows I've been up painting all night. <clears throat> and uh, not that I'm, I'm not saying that I'm sick of painting right now, but I'm sick of painting right now. Um, but yeah, here's the underside. And as you guys can see, the lines are amazing. The lines are amazing. I didn't overspray the paint. I didn't shoot the paint over to the other side to where, you know what I mean? I, I really, really took my time and uh, and did it good, did it right. And that's that's me, dude. That's just, I'm just, that's just the kind of painter that I am. I can paint, especially with spray paint cans. Um, that's one of my... Uh, one of my natural given abilities is to be able to spray paint really well with the can. My old lady crashed her Cavalier Z Z28 Cavalier or Z24 Cavalier one time, and I took the, the whole bumper was crushed, um, but everything else was fine. Everything underneath was fine. It just ripped the plastic away from the bumper. The bumper was just ripped to shreds. Took that whole bumper off. Bought a brand new bumper. Put it downstairs in the basement where I was living. I sprayed it out with red primer. Then I, because it was a red car, then I sprayed it out with this really nice red, cherry red, which was the color of the car, pretty much kind of like this, but a little lighter. And then I took a bunch of wax, turtle wax, after two coats of paint, and I buffed that thing out hand by hand. And then once I was done with that, I put another coat of wax on it, and I buffed it out again with by my hand. By the time I was done with that bumper. It looked like something that a showroom did. There was not one run, not one drip. Just absolutely amazing the way it came out. And it looked like something that a professional did with uh, some type of a paint gun. But it wasn't. Just spray paint. But uh, yeah, guys. Uh, so that's the wings. And now we're going to start taping off the fuselage. And we have the tail to do. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the tail. I haven't really thought about it. I think I might just go ahead and just do a solid gray on it. Um, maybe tape off the ends, just the tips of uh, the elevators, just like out at the tips like I did here, but just a little bit. Just give it a little bit of black. Um, that way I stay with the whole you know, scheme of the plane. Um, but I'm gonna start taping off the fuselage right now and we're gonna start thinking about how we're gonna do the paint scheme on that. I haven't really thought about it yet. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is keep the red, the red, and I'm going to keep the red as this red because the bottom of that fuselage is red and then it, it kind of has some blue in it too. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it off and do the bottom of that plane red and then the top of the fuselage is going to be um, gray and then it, it's going to feed back into the black tail which kind of does this scheme going left to right. It's going to go front to back. So we're going to do black at the tail then gray, and then red on the bottom. And then we're gonna add our tiger stripes afterwards. And then we're gonna hobby coat it. Actually, first off, we're gonna put it together. We're gonna hook it up. We're gonna get everything connected and we're gonna get it started and running. And then we're gonna hobby coat the whole fucking thing. And it is going to look amazing, you guys. So that's it. Stay tuned for the next video. This is what we will call part two, segment two. So uh, this segment is going to be the finished product of the wing halves, uh, and, or just the wing, I should say, and uh, taping off the fuselage and getting the fuselage started, and uh, also doing the uh, the uh, uh, the horizontal stabilizer as well. So uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned, and uh, we'll get to the next piece and get it taped off and get her painted. That is it for now guys uh so just hang in there and uh we'll be right back <laughs>